Okay, so there are a few things that we would like to fix with our character. Um, but first, I uh, remember that we added a on equip sound and um, to our weapon, and I'd like to actually use a equip sound for this. So if we go to the GitHub, and uh, the link should be provided in the supplemental instruction content, um, but it's, it's basically the, the link you see on the screen here. Um, there should be a sound you can download from my GitHub here. And um, that sound that I'd like to use would be this blade1.wave. So go ahead and download that. Also, um, you're going to probably want some other sounds that I have here as well. I have these Sword Swing 1 and 2. Um, I would go ahead and download those two. I have this Impact Impact Metal Stick Light dot Wave. Go ahead and download that. And um, let's see. You're also going to want Hit Sound dot Wave. Um, you've already got Coin Sound, I believe. And um, so that should be uh, all you need as far as sounds. So download those and come back into Unreal Engine. I created a new folder called Sound Assets and just imported everything in here and created sound cues from those and remember as soon as you import a sound you can right click and click create cue so I've done that for all of the sounds that you just saw and so you should have a folder whether you stuck it in sounds or did what I did and created sound assets um, that's up to you but get all those sounds and so you should have those all now in the project so, so that's one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to go over to uh, our weapon. In fact, I wanted to go to the weapon blueprint. So in blueprints and weapon and click on search, search for sound. And you've got overlap sound and on equip sound. And I would like to, for on equip sound, use blade one Q. So I'm going to compile and save that. And um, I'm just going to give this a test. I'm going to um, go ahead and get my uh, volume here. It was muted, so I'm going to unmute it. And I'm going to go ahead and put in some headphones and test this out. Okay, so I'm going to hit play. I'm going to go up and equip it. And now I get this nice sound effect for the blade. So now we actually have a equip sound whenever we pick up a sword and it sounds sort of like a sword sword being unsheathed or something like that so that's that's pretty cool okay so that's that I wanted to fix that um, and now let's get back to the character and um, the other issue I wanted to address now if we click play and we come up and we equip a sword and uh, this is a good angle. If you go up close to a wall and you move the camera so we can see the hand, you'll notice that he's holding the sword, but his hand is open. And so that's a problem. Also, when we're running, um, you know, it's uh, it looks like he's pretty much holding the sword. Um, but we're, we're also going to want... Um, a sprinting animation that is more appropriate for holding a sword. So basically I want to create a whole new animation blend space to use for idle walk run when we have a sword equipped. And to do that we're going to need some more animation assets. So I'm going to go back to Mixamo. So if you go to Mixamo and you look for an idle animation with someone holding a weapon, um, you can download one. I like this one because um, he's he's got his right hand closed and he's kind of looking around now too a little bit um, sort of so it's like he's a little more aware so when he's got a weapon in his hand he's like ready for combat so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna download it so let's do it without skin and download and I'm also gonna want a new uh, walk and a run and also a sprint so let's do a, I think there was a good one called Sword Shield Run. And I think it might have been this one. If I click in place, uh, yeah, it looks like he's holding a sword in his hand and he's running. So I think this one looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and download this one. Sword Shield Run. And for sprinting, I would like to get this one called Great Sword Run. 
and I believe it is this one here. So let's click in place and you'll see that he's 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 running with both hands on the sword so I kinda like that one so I'd like to use that for the sprint so I'm gonna go ahead and download this one as well so we should have a idle a walk run and a sprint all with him holding a sword so these should work pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and um, first of all I'm going to uh, click show in folder so I can move these to my assets folder um, so I've got great sword run sword and shield run standing idle looking and I believe oh I needed a walk as well um, so let's do um, I think it's sword and shield walk and I think we can use Let's see if I could find one. I think this one might work. Um, yeah, I think this one would work for a walk. And uh, again, we're going to see the walk better once we use a console controller. Uh, but let's download this Sword and Shield walk as well. And as soon as that's finished downloading, we're going to go to Downloads. I'm going to click and hold control to click all those and I'm going to uh, actually wait a minute. Um, looks like a copy was made of some of these. I'm going to hit control Z. I didn't mean to copy those. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, click this and hit shift and select these and right click and cut. I think I might, might have hit copy. Let's hit cut for this. And I'm going to go to my assets folder to my animations and I'm going to paste these in. And I'm just going to call the great sword run sprint. Uh, I'm going to call it um, sprint armed. Uh, I'm going to call standing idle looking um, idle armed. Um, let's see. Let's see. Sword and shield run. I'm going to call run armed sword and shield walk I'm gonna call walk armed and I think that might be all of them I believe there was uh, four total so we got idle armed uh, walk armed uh, run armed and I think where's sprint armed okay so we have all of them so I'm gonna close that out and I'm gonna go back into Unreal Engine to character animations and import and I'm gonna choose idle armed run armed sprint armed and the other one we have idle run there must be a walk there it is walk armed click open and I'm gonna select the castle guard skeleton and import all so we've got these all in here and so we can click save all and save selected okay so we've got the idle walk run blend space I'd like to right click and go to animation blend space 1d and choose castle guard 1 and call this one uh, armed idle walk run blend space double click that and we're going to give the name to the parameter speed, just like the other one. And for this one, we're going to choose idle armed to drag in. We're going to do run armed for the very last one. And then walk armed for this one here. And then, of course, for maximum axis, uh, we can go back to the other blend space to see what we used for that and I think we used yeah we used 375 and so we can go back to the armed and choose 375 for this one so now we've got two uh, blend spaces um, in which the character is holding the uh, weapon in his hand and it doesn't look so weird um, so we need to be able to switch between blend spaces and we can do that in our animation blueprint so let's open that okay so we've got an animation blueprint and we've got an idle walk run here 
And rather than dragging off and making this super complicated, I'm going to enter into the idle walk run. And in idle walk run, so we're, we're outside here in the state machine, we're going to go into idle walk run. We're going to right click and do state machine and choose add new state machine. And I'm going to call this one idle walk run. And I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to drag in from idle walk run to final animation pose and then double click on this state machine, drag out and do new state. And I'm going to say unarmed. And then I'm going to drag up and create a new state and say armed. And so in unarmed, we can use our idle walk run blend space, drag it in and we can get movement speed. There it is, and we can drag that in. And then we can go back out to Idle Walk Run, double click it, and double click Armed. And we can use Armed Idle Walk Run Blend Space. We can plug that in, right click, and get movement speed. There it is, and we can go back out into Idle Walk Run and have a transition rule for going from unarmed to armed and going from armed to unarmed. So if we go to the unarmed to armed transition rule, we can right click and we can get main. So let's right click and type main. There it is, main. And in main, we can drag off of this and we can say get equipped weapon. And from equipped weapon, we can drag off of this and type two equals and we can get equal object. And we can say if equal, and we can leave this blank. Basically, we can say if it's equal to nothing. That's like saying if it's a null pointer or not. Now, if it's equal to nothing, that means there is no equipped weapon and we don't want to transition into the armed state. So we can actually negate this by putting a not boolean and dragging this in. So this is saying if equipped weapon is null not, basically if it's not null, then we can transition. And then we can go back into the armed to unarmed state and we can do the same thing. We can say get main, we can say um, get equipped weapon. And for the equipped weapon, we can type a double equals and say equal to object. And now we can say if it is equal to nothing, then we can transition back into um, the idle walk run, which is unarmed. So we can ho hover over these real quick to see that this is based on uh, equipped weapon being either equal to nothing or not equal to nothing. So we can com uh, compile that. And if we go back into the engine and play, we can, we'll be in the regular blend space. And then as soon as we arm ourselves, then we have ourselves holding the sword. And he's, you can see he's now in a more ready stance, ready for combat. And his, his grip is on to the sword tightly. That looks really good. And you'll see that even the run animation has him holding the sword out, so that looks better. And the only thing that we haven't implemented is our sprinting animation. And so we can go ahead and take care of that one as well. So let's go ahead and hit escape and go back to the main MVP, go back out to locomotion, and here in sprinting, we have the play two cycle sprint. Now, if we right click, we can say state machine and add a new state machine here. And we can drag that in and we can delete play two cycle sprint. And we can call this new state machine sprint or we can call this run sprint, something like that. We can drag, uh, double click that, drag off and add a state and we can call this running and we can drag off and add a state and call this sprinting and in running of course we can drag in our running animation there it is and then we can go back out to the uh, running 
run sprint state machine and go into sprinting and now we can do uh, sprint armed that's good and it looks like I meant to call this not run sprint but let's call this uh, uh, sprint uh, let's just call it sprint and this one will be called sprint unarmed or just call unarmed and this one will just call it armed and so unarmed has play running and then armed will have play sprint armed and actually um, unarmed sprinting should be the sprinting animation rather uh, sorry about that uh, let's see where is sprinting I think it's called two cycle sprint there it is two cycle sprint so this remember if we go back out um, to the locomotion we're in the sprinting so we double click sprinting we created a new state machine called sprint and inside of that we have unarmed to armed and armed to unarmed so we should have two transition rules one plays the sprint uh, unarmed and one plays the sprint armed animation okay so what are we going to use for our transition rule from unarmed to armed sprinting well we can use the same thing we did in the idle walk run so if we go to the idle walk run go to the transition rule um, we can copy this so control C then go back to locomotion back into sprinting into the sprint state machine and from unarmed to armed we can go in here and control V and this is getting the main getting equipped weapon checking to see if it's equal to nothing negating that and plugging that in so if it's not equal to nothing we have a weapon we're armed we can transition into sprint running uh, or uh, armed sprint so now we can go back out and from armed to unarmed we can control V take out the knot and plug this in and now if our equipped weapon is equal to nothing we can go back to the unarmed sprint so we can go ahead and compile and save that and let's give this a test so I'm going to click save all and go ahead and start running around and you'll see that running works just as we expect and now if I go ahead and equip a sword I can run and as soon as I hit shift now we're running with that great sword animation so it's it's looking a little bit more aggressive and so that looks great and of course as soon as I run out of stamina it will go back to the other uh, the other animation uh, because this um, basically the sprinting status is the enum that is checked so because it's based on that then as soon as we're no longer sprinting the animation obeys uh, the correct the correct functionality so that is a good stopping point I think for taking care of switching between animation blueprints uh, actually um, switching between uh, anim blend spaces inside of the same animation blueprint and uh, just to recap the way to do that is you simply go into a state and instead of just plugging an animation in you can create a state machine inside and then in your state machine you can have different states in there as well so the functionality can be multi-layered so in idle walk run we created an idle walk run state with two uh, states in the state machine then in uh, sprinting we created a state machine called sprint with two states inside of that and so now inside of idle walk run there's more complex functionality same thing with sprinting and so we don't have to do all of this on the same graph and get sort of out of um, out of get unorganized so that takes care of the sprinting and holding uh, a weapon and having different animations depending on whether or not we are armed and so uh, in the next video we will continue to add even more functionality